today's video I'm gonna show you how to animate like Iman Gaji and we are gonna be doing this animation. So for start I have a screenshot of my YouTube channel and we are gonna animate this screenshot. So let's get into it. So let's bring our, our fusion composition. Let's go to fusion. Okay, we have our media out. Let's bring in our background. Let's connect it over like this. Next, let's add our screenshot. Merge it over. Nice. Firstly, let's make the background the same color as a YouTube background so it looks nicer. Okay, now I want to split this image into multiple parts. Let's see how many parts are we going to need. So this is going to be number one. So one, two, this is going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. So we are going to need to have seven more copies of this image. Let's go over two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now that we have eight copies of our uh, photo, let's bring this up like this. Actually, just select all and bring them up. Okay now we want to mask each individual object and let's bring our rectangle mask just merge it over like this and firstly the channel banner will be first so let's just make something like this okay that looks nice so let's just copy this rectangle mask again merge it over okay next we want to mask our logo so something like this should be okay let's just copy it and paste it over this is gonna be the other one our channel name and everything needed except those things so just make longer like this okay Let's copy another one, paste it, same thing, just make this smaller and make this maybe a little bit higher, like this, okay, same thing, copy it, paste it over, mask, for this, it's gonna be this one, okay, we need three more, paste it, Go here. We are gonna just encase this first thumbnail and everything beneath it. So something like this should be nice, I think. Yeah, we have it. Okay, just copy it over and let's go here. Okay, let's go to the next one. March over this. Okay, and copy it. Let's go here and just here okay now that we have all of those masked out we can start to animate them how do we do that we are gonna use a transform node so we can actually just press shift and space and type in transform the first thing here okay and now that we have our transform how can we animate this it's really simple let's go to something like frame 25 okay just keyframe the center go back to frame zero again keyframe it and just drag it off the screen to the top like this okay we can add another transform go there go to the frame 25 let's just change the pivot so it's in the middle of our logo frame 25 this uh for this one we're gonna we are gonna use the size so just keyframe the size go to the z frame zero keyframe the size again and just bring it down like this so now it comes out like this which is great let's add another transform node uh for this we are gonna use everything here okay let's just the pivot here okay 
and same thing frame 25 keyframe the center go to frame zero keyframe the center again and just drag it off screen here so as you can see it's coming together quite nicely again we're going to transform add it uh, the next is this stuff here so we'll just pivot to the center like this because we are going to use the size for this one too keyframe it go to frame zero keyframe it again and just bring the size out right again it's coming along quite nicely let's go to the next one we don't need to touch the pivot for this one we can just keyframe the center on frame 25 like this go to frame zero like this and just get it off screen okay so again it's coming along quite nicely so we have the last three the thumbnails let's go let's transform again like this just keyframe the center and go to frame zero and just drag it off screen like this so for these thumbnails so we can actually copy the same transform let's copy it and paste it on the next two so now we have something like this but we want to offset them so select the last three transforms or however many thumbnails you have and just go to keyframes stretch the fit let's open them like this uh, we won't touch the first one so let's go to the second one offset it by something like this however many keyframes that is so let's select the other one and offset it again so now it looks something like this okay but still linear and i think we should just add this adjust this a little bit so it isn't so late yeah now, now it looks nicer okay what can we do with these now let's just bring our all the transforms and select them like this go to spline uh, we should select all the transforms in here okay all the transforms are selected go to stretch the fit Click select all, press S to smooth them, press T to open the easy and ease out controls and just make our easy and ease out something like this. So now we have, let's close it. It looks so nice. It really does. So let's just see it again. Yeah, this looks cool but we can actually make it a bit nicer by adding the transform after all of this and just size it up a bit so it looks even nicer let's see it now yeah that's the stuff usually iman has that wavy effect in his videos and we can actually do it quite easily by adding a fast noise adding a displace node after the, uh, after the fast noise place here it is and just connecting it to this and get our seat up uh, a bit and uh, seat rate a bit so now it looks something like this which I think looks awesome so what can we do to make it even better we can actually add an overlay to this so let's go to media pool and add a paper overlay like this and just on the apply mode go to multiply blend i think blend is good i think it looks, it looks nice so let's see the final result bring this down and it looks something like this so 
If you want to learn more Imangaji animations, then this video is for you.